What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to Living Life Fast and today you join me for the second track day in my McLaren 720S. I'm actually at Donington today. Last week we was at Silverstone. Now, if you're new to the channel, I've only had this car for around two, three months and the idea was to absolutely send it on these track days. This car is genuinely something else. So I've actually booked a track day with McLaren alongside another three, four other track days. We've literally got 720, 620Rs, McLaren Centers. It's gonna be an awesome day today. Donington, I've never actually raced Based on this track so I've got no experience I did travel down to Milton Keynes two days ago to a sim rig sorry a simulator company uh, called simply race I did 80 laps on the national Donington track today we're on the GP so slightly different we have got Oscar over there he's gonna hopefully get you guys some nice drive-by shots today look there we've got a 720 so Jack we say man just put you on the camera mate yeah, on the spot <laughs> yeah, yeah. you were like an instructor here or instructor from McLaren yes also a racing driver as well so, okay um, awesome I do it all at the moment so. yeah Got some experience at Donington. Donington, love it, yeah. yeah. One of my favourites. Quite a tricky circuit, but yeah. you'll really enjoy it. Nice and yeah. fast and flowing. So for anyone that's new to the channel, it's a completely stock 720S. Obviously 710 inch horsepower from factory. The only modification we've done is we put a set of Nankang uh, AR1s. They are literally brand spanking new. Also we've had shims installed to the car so company called suspension secrets they install the shims so they can actually uh, adjust the camera on the car it's actually kind of transformed the handling right, so let's do this guys set up in pov mode man like jack he's going to show me around the track hopefully ricky don't be in it so how long have you been working at mclaren jack about three four years now man it must be an awesome Just job man. coaching yes yeah, good you get to go to some cool places and drive some nice cars so how old are you I'm 23. Wow, man. Yeah, living the dream, as some would say. Living the dream, mate, is an understatement. Yeah. And you're a professional racing driver as well, you say? Just about, yeah, we're getting there. It's a hard process. It's just yeah. uh, chipping away. Obviously, COVID hasn't helped, but... Right. Uh, just keeping out to your right, coming out as well. So here will be third gear corner. Third gear, yeah. Use that orange marker as your reference point. Yeah. So that's your apex that you'll be driving out towards the outside. Over towards the left hand side, we're down to third gear. People on the brakes. Down and in. It's good they're using all the surface, which was good. On the brakes. Let's move turn in. Get to the marker point, it's not the build the throttle up, out towards the outside. Guide yourself in. Nice. Nice smooth throttle and then build it up as we go out to the outside. Turn in, nice, and then straighten the wheel. Watch for the bumps, and then you can pick it up. Down the gears. The key is to get the car nice and straight before you get on the power. And that's it. We get the power, wind the lock off. Off you go. Just in nice and deep. Get the car turned in the middle. Jeez, I don't recognise this bit. Yeah, because I practiced the national. Ah, okay, so that's this why. Is the GP. Yeah, yeah, these two bits I've, I've not seen. first session out of the way and let me tell you that was a lot a lot harder than I thought yes this is the first time of Donington and yes it was the first time of Silverstone but let me tell you I've done thousands and thousands of laps at Silverstone where at Donington and I only did a little practice the other day we're also doing the GP track whereas I practiced the national the other day so the last two hairpin corners completely unrecognizable I mean driving the track in real life definitely feels a little bit different to playing in the game um, got to be a little bit more cautious I think the third corner yeah, the way the car rotates is a little bit scary, but... Ricky's just pinning it! Short 
want to shift it. We don't want to. We don't want to beat on the car too hard. We're having enough fun. We're not trying to set lap times right now. Down to third. Slowing down too much here. We can carry way more speed. We need to brake later here, like or here. <laughs> Just got into the groove and fuel is about to run out so the guy specifically said don't run out on track literally so it would have been a bit of an embarrassment so i'm going to quickly fill up some fuel and i'm going to jump straight back out and uh, try and find somebody quick because i want to start pushing the car a bit now i'd definitely say that the 80 laps i did on the sim rig has helped me figure out the track a lot quicker i don't think i would have figured it out by now i mean i'm still obviously need to sort out my lines and get better but i feel a little bit more confident now right so we've got the instructor back in I think most of braking points you can bring back and get a better exit. Yeah, on the brakes. Down here, get everything done early. Break in, then you can come off. circuit to circuit for this one i'll probably say just bringing it back in a few places to focus back, on the yeah. exit a little bit because we're just on that limit where the balance was just starting to slide yeah and it's just going to kill your exit and kill your speed but yeah got you commitment wise it's all there but yeah just yeah. to find a little bit more time we'll just be bringing it back in a few places just so you can get on that power a bit earlier and a slower exit faster that's it basically you got to think when you come down the old hairpin where that little moment that's where yeah. we had to slide yeah just bring it back a little bit yeah and when you get on the power early, you've got that big long hill to go up. Yeah. That's where a lot of the more time comes. You might be quicker for like a fraction of the corner, but you've got yeah. such a long hill to drive up. Yeah, you're going to lose a bit It'd of speed. It'd be easier for you as well, so. Yeah. That's good. I don't think I could drive it that flat. It was like proper on the limit. It's like, <laughs> it's good.
Let's go. Sealing it. This is sick. <laughs> sick, <isn't> it? <laughs> Like I've just got out of the shower. <laughs> bro, I swear, even you're sweating, bro. You're in the fucking passenger. <laughs> oh, look at Oscar looking finished, yo. <laughs> look at the temperatures on the rear, 72 degrees. Wow, 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 wow. Man, like, it's hard to get my feelings on camera, but I just feel on top of the world right now. That's all I can say, man. Like, I am a fiend when it comes to track driving like obviously a lot of my track driving is done in games like I'm used to doing like Gran Turismo two three hour endurance races even Oscar he is a bit of a track beast as well you got a simulator set up at home ain't you? yeah a little setup yeah it just this car just feels crazy crazy isn't it? it just feels right bro this is what I'm trying to say this car is like it a cheat just... code what you do in the game you can do in this car mm. like guys the 720 and I just think some of these guys are out in 620Rs and someone's out in the Senna we had a very hairy moment Oscar's from the passenger seat like laughing at me like it was a minor listen I, I in my mind i nearly been in the car like i was in the zone and that back went the thing is the back went to the point where if it went anymore i don't think i could have even caught it like it would have just went um and that is exactly what i was doing when i hit the simulator the other day and it was actually due to the tires overheating even in the game but yeah yeah i uh, just sorry guys so uh, it's probably a terrible little update but yeah, over the moon, man. Absolutely loving the day with McLaren. You know what? This is like the, the service and the people running the day. They're some of the nicest people I've ever met. Every single one of them come up and said hello. Oh, Ricky, we watch the channel. Like, unbelievable. So, yeah, I probably will hit another session or two and then uh, end this video. Oh, we need some fuel. We've now got 13%, so I hit the petrol station and we'll go smash out another couple of laps.
final session i do actually want to go home but right now the track looks a bit quiet and i think i'm going to really try and focus on nailing uh, a fast lap and i may even try and time it via the gopro so it won't be like an official lap time by the track i'll time it via the gopro this car has taken a beating over the last three months i've done four drag days in it so i've done zero to 180 mile an hour runs four days like back to back 
I've done a drift day in this car. This is the second track day I've done it. I've also done a lot of draggy testing on the street. So I've done back to back 100 to 200 times, quarter mile times on the street. And honestly, it has not failed me once. See that guys, yeah? That's called putting the work in. Apparently I hit something guys. I don't know what I hit, but I must have just been burning rubber. That's all I, that's all I can think right now. I didn't hit anything. Look, this actually, it rubs off. Something on there. Some sort of rubber or something, it looks like it. You see this car is getting abused. It's overheated a few times. Oscar's saying it could be a thermostat. We spoke to a few of the McLaren techs here as well. So we're gonna send it back in. Thank God I've got warranty, and that's why you take a warranty out on these cars. A lot of people are unreliable, unreliable. Just get a warranty and um, you know any small little niggles you have with the car, you just send it in. But mechanically, gearbox engine, solid, exactly what I purchased this car. Massive shout out to McLaren, awesome, awesome day I've had. And these tires, the Nankang Air ones have definitely held up well. And to be fair, I'm actually happy with myself, you know. Never been on this track, like Silverstone. I've done thousands of thousands of laps, uh, but this track, I've never ever done it. I went to a sim center, I did 80 laps, and that's all I know of this track. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna end it there. I'm just waffling away, I'm tired. Please, please hit the thumbs up if you're enjoying this style of content. Make sure to hit the thumbs up. That's the only way I know that you wanna see more. So guys, I'm out. See you later, bye.